Hot Mess Express coming to you live. Suitcase number one, suitcase number two. I'm pretty sure I've overpacked. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Posh, Platinum Premier Leader of my team of Poshpreneurs. And today, I've got an extra special treat for you. Honestly, I've had vacation brain, and trying to pack for my trip to the Dominican Republic has really had me all kinds of in a tizzy. This is my seventh incentive trip with Posh. So I always wanna do a packing video when I'm headed off on an incentive trip for Posh, but my time just always gets away from me. However, I'm fully packed, albeit a little overpacked. Send help. <laughs> so I've totally got two suitcases full of stuff that I'm going to share with you for fun. I'm just going to go ahead and brush all the food out of my teeth before I get started. <sighs> I really don't even know where to get started. <laughs> okay, here we go. So the very first thing I'm going to show you is super fun. We need um, a beach bag and so I ordered a beach bag from Nordstrom because hello, I love Nordstrom. And it came in and it was just super huge. Like it was the perfect beach bag for a mom going to the beach with her whole entire family that needs three towels, a sand bucket, a bag of diapers, and you know, 16 things of sunblock. I also need 16 things of sunblock, but I do not require a sand pail, any towels, or any diapers. So I needed to downsize my beach bag, and I happen to have this little fishy. This fishy is actually a cooler bag, um, but I just, freaking think it's adorable, and this is gonna be my beach bag. I love you, Mr. Fish. Okay, what's next? <laughs> I'm hopeful that as I show you guys everything that I've packed, I can get a little real with myself and actually eliminate a few things. I have approximately, probably like 25 outfits packed, and I'm going to be in the Dominican Republic for eight days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see my dilemma. But I like options. All right, next thing's next. This bag has got all of my GoPro accessories in it. Now, mind you, I told you this is my seventh incentive trip with Perfectly Posh, and I've had this GoPro for about 18 months. It has taken exactly none pictures. I brought it on a couple of incentive trips. I brought it to Costa Rica. I brought it... Um, to Hawaii, I brought it on a, on a bunch of trips, and I have all of these accessories, you know, so it floats. This is like the selfie arm for the GoPro. And here is the actual GoPro device. This is a Hero 5, I think. It's like the newest freaking GoPro, and I have not used it one time. One time I tried to use it and it was dead. The next time I tried to charge it and then I that's a long story. Somebody needs to teach me how to use my GoPro. Um, so anyway, this trip we have, yeah, no, I need all of the help I can get. Oh, there we go. This trip we have booked an excursion actually on a catamaran. It's a 60 person catamaran, which basically looks like a yacht. And there's going to be 15 of us on the boat. I am so freaking excited. So it's a little excursion we're going to do, and I'm definitely going to be grabbing some boat footage. I'm telling you so that I hold myself accountable. I like to pack everything in little um, containers. So like, this is all of my camera stuff. Packing cubes. These are all of my pajamas. This is all of my bathroom stuff. I like everything to be nice and contained so that when I'm unpacking, and Lord knows when I get to the resort, I like to fully move in and unpack. Um, everything has a place. Okay, one of the more important items, contents, my life. Inside this little bag has got all of my eyelash accoutrements. You're like, wait, did she just say eyelash? Yes, I did just say eyelash. I have all of my fake eyelashes individually glued onto my eye, so I need to have special eyelash wash and, you know, some other special stuff. This is all of my eyelash stuff. Just call me high maintenance. We don't need to see this. This is all of my bathroom stuff. That's a lie. This is half of my bathroom stuff. I feel like you're going to judge me so hard. I am such an overpacker. I used to be such a minimalistic packer, but then I would get to wherever I was going and wish I had other things and then think, I mean, you don't get an award for being a minimalistic packer. What, you have less suitcases to lug around? You go to the resort and you leave the resort. That's the only time you're touching your
your suitcases. I like to have options. Okay, moving on. I got this cute little waist bag. So this is one of those cute little, you know, belt bag type situations. Strap her on, bammer. Got my phone, got my camera, got whatever. Who am I going to kid? I'm not gonna use the GoPro, it's fine. All right, next we've got a whole little box. I'm gonna have to bring you in closer so you can see some of these cute earrings I got. This is my box of earrings and bracelets. Don't worry, oh no. This is my box of dangly earrings. I have another box of stud earrings because, you know, I'm not even wearing earrings today, but clearly I'm going to wear them every day on vacation. I have to show you some of these super cute earrings because they're the cutest. Hello. Oh, that's awesome, my camera battery is low. We're not gonna get through this at all. Anyway, how fun are these? Everything I have, no. Many of the things I've packed are blue, so you're gonna see a lot of blue earrings. Blue earrings number two. How about some of these? I mean, I really don't wear dangly earrings hardly at all, so it will sure be interesting to see if I wear them on vacation. My battery's gonna die, that's so awesome. We've got all of my pajamas in this little cube, and no, this is not just my pajamas, this is also the pajamas for Alyssa K. Brown. Alyssa Brown's gonna be my roommate on this trip, and I mean, if you've watched any of my videos from previous trips, you know we like to book, hello. You know we like to wear matching pajamas, so I will give you a little preview of our twinner outfits. Matching robes for the room because we're 12. <laughs> I love these, I found these at TJ Maxx, and it says, hello lovely. La 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 la. One of the most important pieces in my luggage, the luggage scale, because Lord knows I need to be able to get all of this stuff back home, plus my room drops, because when you go on a posh incentive trip, you're going to get room drops. What's a room drop, you ask? A room drop is where you're going out and you're on an excursion all day long, or you go to a fancy dinner, you go back to your room, and surprise, there's presents on your bed. <laughs> Literally a room drop. It's, it's like one of my most exciting parts of a posh trip. Yay, I probably don't need those, but that's fine. You don't need to see the bras that I'm packing, but you do need to see these pants because they are the cutest. So these are, um, I think, pelicans, right? Are those pelicans? They're such a fun little jogger pant. They're from Ted Baker, so they're super nice quality, and I just love the material, and they fit perfect. So I'm gonna wear these with a white t-shirt and black sandals. Pants are totally the name of the game for me this trip. These pants are from Rip Curl. I totally love them. They're super comfy, super lightweight, like a gauzy material. They're like a surfer's pant. And I'll be wearing these with a cute little crop top. And if you're thinking, Jessica, hello, you're going to an island, you should probably pack some shorts. I will tell you, I do have one or two pairs of shorts packed in my suitcase, but I hate shorts. I hate that my thighs are up together, I hate that they creep, the, the, the shorts creep, you know, into my, you know, center area, it's the worst. I hate shorts with passion. I love me some pants. So you will catch me in pants or a dress pretty much the entire time. But like I said, because I'm an overpacker, I did pack some shorts. Sunglasses for days because I need options. I have a special outfit planned for these. Should probably clean them though, huh? Hello, gotta rock the posh glasses on the posh trip. And of course I can't show you all my sunnies because, you know, you need some surprises, right? But wait, asking for a friend, is five pairs of sunglasses for an eight day trip too many? Oh, here are all my bathing suits. I will just show you a few. Okay, so I'm probably not gonna wear that guy, so that can probably, look at that, I'm already eliminating stuff. All right, so I bought this bikini for my Hawaii trip and I freaking love it. So this is the off the shoulder um, top and then the bottoms are reversible. So I usually wear it with the solid blue or you can have the super matchy matchy floral situation there. I like the solid, what do you guys think? I like the mix and match bikinis. Um, I bought this bathing suit for Greece, and of course I'm bringing it with me. I just love it. I think it's so super classy looking. It's got um, the little see-through band here at the top and then also at the waist. It makes me super trim looking, and I just really like the look of it. It's just super classy like Audrey Hepburn. And I have a perfect hat. Let me show you the hat I have. That's not coming anymore. Hello. 
This hat will be joining this bathing suit, and if I had the cover up handy, I would show you the whole outfit, but that's the plan. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more bathing suit because I just feel like it's totally islandy and fun, and I'm super excited to wear it. So, there it is. Let me bring you in a little closer. How fun is that? And then it's all um, laced up the sides. It's a little bit sexy. Okay, am I boring you yet? Of course, I also need to have a brown hat. Super floppy. Keep all of the sun away from me because I am white and I will burn. Of course, just to round out the situation, I have a hat that's got palm trees, flamingos, and pom-poms. Have to have a good pair of wedges for all of my dressy dinner outfits. You don't need to see my panties. This packing cube is all of my exercise gear. So I am, in fact, packing exercise gear. Usually exercise gear gets stricken from my suitcase because let's be real, I'm probably not going to exercise on vacation, but I've been on a super good roll lately. I've been super good for the last eight weeks. I want to keep it up. So I'm absolutely packing one small packing cube of about three exercise outfits. I'm really hoping I can get at least three, maybe five sessions in while I'm away and just hope for the best for me, would ya? Somebody told me to make sure and pack bug spray. So Alyssa is bringing bug spray and I'm taking it up a notch with these little clip-on circulating repellent things. I don't actually know what it is. It's like a little fan that you clip onto yourself that has insect repellent inside of it. So it's supposed to radiate like a 10 foot space. I might have made up the 10 foot space situation. It says up to 12 hours of head to toe protection. So I've got one for me, one for Alyssa, and we've each got two refills because I hate bugs. Always, always, always pack yourself a shower comb. So this is a nice wide tooth comb. It's got a little loop-de-loop, -loop, so you can hook it in the shower. And before you even get out, you can comb through all of your conditioner and have your hair de-snarled before exiting the shower. There's a little tip for you. And of course, I need to have a little coat for my phone because Lord knows I'm not gonna be able to go to the pool without my phone because it's my camera and my source to, you know, access the internet. Um, so this is just a little waterproof jacket. It's also got a little float in it. So that way if I do take it into the pool, which I usually don't because I'm still paranoid, even though my phone is water resistant and in the case, it's fine, I'm still paranoid, but if you do our grave and you do take it into the pool, it will float if you get one of these. And I got this at TJ Maxx for like $5.99. I thought that was the first suitcase. That's actually one half of the first suitcase. Whoo, woosa, woosa. Woosa. Probably not going to need this, but this is simply saline. Um, whenever I travel to places that are dry, I understand the Dominican Republic is not dry, but when I travel to places that are dry, sometimes I can get a nosebleed, which is totally disgusting, and I'm sorry for the too much information, but my nose is super sensitive. It's always been sensitive since I was a child. I need to keep it moisturized. So I went ahead and picked up Simply Saline because there is nothing more annoying than having a nosebleed when you're on vacation. So, you know, just in case, I need a little moisture up there. I can't believe I had these bags all packed and now I'm taking them all apart. I sure hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Sneakers, because workout. These were the last things to get packed because I worked out this morning. I fly away tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not excited at all. Okay, oh, this is a fun thing. Sorry, I started yelling. So, this little tote bag here, let me take it out of the plastic, because it's so cute. Months ago, when I knew I was going to be earning the Church of the Dominican, these cute little bags are so cute. They're so islandy too, it says coconuts. And um, it's got a little wristlet, so you can attach the little wristlet thing to this bag or this bag. Anyway, so this was on sale from Express. Um, they retail for $35. They were on super sale. I did not pay anywhere near that. Um, I ordered, I think I ordered 15. I ordered 15 of these because I wanted to make sure I had one and I wanted a bunch that I could gift to my friends that also earned the trip as well as my downline. 
Well, my downline freaking rocked their socks off, and I had eight people on my team earn the trip. So I had to scale back my list <laughs> that I was giving these to, but I sent one to everybody on my team that earned one, and then I sent a couple to a couple of my close friends that I'm going early with. Um, because anytime you earn a trip from Posh, you always want to add on extra days if your schedule and budget allow, of course, because it's just so nice to be able to relax for eight days. I mean, when we went to Costa Rica, we stayed for an extra two weeks. That was a little excessive, but you know, lesson learned. This time we're staying for just a couple of extra days. Uh, we arrive on Saturday. This Saturday I will be arriving to Punta Cana. Uh, and then the rest of uh, all of our friends are going to be arriving on Monday. So it's going to be, there's going to be four of us spending the weekend and Easter together in Punta Cana. And then everybody else arrives on Monday. Anyway, long story about the tote bags. Um, and then I did tell you that I packed a couple pairs of shorts. This is shorts number one. Just some cutoffs. These are um, super bright. Don't adjust your computer screen. These are neon. <laughs> um, more pants because, you know, I think I need to eliminate some of these pants though. I have a lot of them. I just love these. They're so comfy. They're like a jogger pant and then they're um, cinched at the bottom because, hi, I'm short. These pants are amazing. I'm probably going to live in these every single day. Let me come closer. These are from Robin Picone. So they're just like black, um, comfy, loosey-goosey pants, but on the side, they're totally split open. And the lighting is totally not allowing you to see this, but they split up here at the thigh. You probably still can't tell. And they're just so cute because as I walk, you get a little bit of a peekaboo of the leg, but not too much and um, they don't expose like my whole butt cheek area it's just the lower leg and they're just so perfect I'm gonna wear these every single day I need to get rid of some of the other pants I have packed somebody come help me I need an adult and if you're packing always remember rolling not folding if you roll your clothes you can fit so much more and it really is true I've tried it every which way since Sunday and I still can't believe I am taking apart these beautifully packed bags. <laughs> but it's okay, I'm gonna take some stuff out. Another pair of pants. I love this color blue, by the way, it's my favorite. Um, another pair of shorts, because you know, I hate shorts, so I might as well bring a pair of white ones. What else? <gasps> oh, I have to show you the pool noodles. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm delirious. Okay, let me show you. What is wrong with you, Jessica? You're like, Jessica, how are you overpacked? Well, let me show you my, <sighs> let me show you my packing cube of shirts, you know, just in casey shirts, because all of my hanging clothes are in that suitcase. These are my just in casey shirts. A couple crop tops, a couple tank tops, a couple t-shirts, you know, just in casey's. I'm gonna try to eliminate some of these, I promise. How freaking perfect are these toms, please? They have palm trees on them, I love them. They're so cute. Of course I have to have my Ruby sign. Don't you decorate the hotel as soon as you arrive? <laughs> Sometimes I think I really am 12. I'm a really smart business person, but I turn into such a little teenager when we go on these trips. Did someone call me a child because I am 100% bringing a pool noodle? I'm actually bringing two pool noodles because Lord knows I can't have anything if Alyssa doesn't have it. <laughs> so here's the green one. And when I open up my other suitcase, you'll see I have a blue one. But these are fancy pool noodles. Everybody's going surfing, surfing USA. We're gonna be using these bad boys in the pool. We're gonna be using these bad boys in the ocean. And I bet, I bet some of you are watching this video that are coming to the DR. You wanna have pool noodles, cause I'm not going to share. Okay guys, that's everything in suitcase number one. I'm gonna take this suitcase down Maybe pack it back up a little bit, and then we're gonna get into suitcase number two. Okay, round two. That took me entirely too long to repack that suitcase, but it's ready to go. So this is the one we just went through. This is the one we're gonna go through now. Who's excited? Who's still with me? Do I have any viewers? Hello, is anybody out there? <laughs> okay, so first thing I'm gonna show you is the white bikini that I am so super excited about. So you guys know I love out of TJ Maxx, 
I am totally a Maxinista. And so this week, anytime that I pass my TJ Maxx or Marshalls, because they will be created equally, I run into the store and just check out, you know, the bathing suits and basically the entire store. I'm a Maxinista. Um, so I ran into a store the other day and I found this white bikini. It was the only one. Here's the cute little bottoms. And it's Lucky Brand. And it just fits like a glove and I freaking love it. And it's so nice. It's got little, it's just like a crop top and it's kind of slightly off the shoulders. It's so nice because it's a nice brand. It's Lucky Brand. So it's totally not see-through. <laughs> when I showed it to Alyssa, she was like, get it wet. <laughs> We need to do the, you know, test. Make sure that it's not see-through, and it is not. So anyway, there's my white bikini. She wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny white bikini. <laughs> All right, moving on. Here is the other pair of jean shorts. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna cross these off. Remember, the goal is to take things out, Jessica. We're not gonna bring those, because I hate shorts. We said that. Um, what else? Oh, this bag's got so much fun stuff. All right, so I've got my makeup bag here, and this is just a zippered, and it's so cool because it's got different compartments. You can see the different compartments. I've got my powders and highlighters, all of the miscellaneous things. This holds brushes, and then more brushes because I love a lot of brushes. I swear, like, my makeup bag is half tools, half actual makeup. Sparkly sandals. I've had these BCBG sandals um, that I got at TJ Maxx for years, and I actually have two pairs. I have one pair that lives in my Florida house and one pair that lives with me. And by my Florida house, I mean my mom and dad's house where I have my own bedroom. All right, what do we have in here? This box is more jewelry. Again, I am packing a ton of jewelry. These are all of my necklaces. I'll show a couple of them to you. I'm really pumped about this necklace. Definitely gonna wear that one. Some turquoise bracelets because, hello, it's islandy. I got this one from TJ Maxx. Pink. Oh my god, I have to show you one I'm so excited about. All right, I'm basically excited about all of them. More turquoise, but You've got to be able to fully appreciate the lizard. How freaking cute is that? I saw that in TJ Maxx and I was like, well, that's definitely coming with me. How cute is he? Do you think nine necklaces for eight days is too many? Okay, moving right along. Earrings. I'm going to give you a guess as to where I got my earring holder. Maxinista. But look how perfect it is. Well, the lighting isn't good when I do that. Hello, but can you see them? They're so cute, they're little daisies. I just got these shorts. They're Trina Turk cover-up shorts, and I just love the little tassels. Okay, I said I hate shorts, but I mean, this is like basically wearing underwear, so it's comfortable. I'm excited. This is my bag of sunblock. I need to have all of the sunblock. So in the first suitcase, I showed you my cute coral-colored wedges. And in this suitcase, I have my cute Tom's wedges. I freaking love these, and they're so comfortable. It's stupid how comfortable these are. I'm probably actually not going to wear these sandals ever, but they're so freaking cute. They lace up the leg. They have all of these little pom-poms and tassels. They're just so like islandy. I have to show them to you. So if I wear these guys, I'm for sure gonna grab all of the pictures because they are the cutest. And I think they're just such islandy sandals. I told you I'm going on a boat, so of course I need my Sperry flip-flops. Ladies, pay attention to this. This is my sticker bra. Mm-hmm, sticker bra. So, and I'm telling you like, this is probably too much information, but at Victoria's Secret, I mean, Victoria's Secret, they're, how can I say this? Victoria's Secret sizes are a little wackadoodle. I don't actually think that I'm a triple D in real life, but when I go to Victoria's Secret, that is the cup size that I measure at. Um, so I'm telling you, even if you've got good size knockers, 
The sticker bra is amazing. So this sticker bra is a D cup and that's it. It comes apart. I feel like you have to know about this because I'm going to wear this so many times. I've worn it so much on the last, they come apart. So you turn it kind of like that. You lean forward and let your boob kind of hang and then you apply it and like that and it sticks. And then you do the other side and hope that you align them pretty okay. And then you clip them together and it gives you a little together. Um, so yeah, that's your one-on-one -on, -one on sticker bras. I should do a whole dedicated video on the sticker bra because I'm telling you, it's seriously amazing because if you have those cute tops that are backless or strapless or whatever, this is what you need. And it's actually very comfortable. And I wore this in Greece and I wore this in Hawaii. Both places were super freaking hot. I definitely had like, you know, under boob sweat dripping a little bit because I was so freaking hot. We did some walking tours in Athens and some other cities and I was wearing my sticker bra. So I was sweating up a storm. You're welcome again for the TMI. And this bad boy still stayed put. You could reuse this up to like, I don't know, a hundred times or something. I'm probably going to say it'll only last like 50 times. Totally worth it though. Don't spare any expense. Go to Nordstrom, buy the actual, I think it's new bra. Yeah, new bra. Get the brand name, get the real deal. It's worth it. Is everybody running out to buy a sticker bra now? Because you really want to. I always bring my wet bikini bag. So this is a totally lined. If you are a mom that does cloth diapering, this would be known as a wet bag. But this is a super cute wet bag because it's got a bikini on it and it says wet bikini. So that way when I'm on the boat or whatever, if I want to change into dry clothes, I've got something to put my wet things into that's not going to contaminate the rest of my cute beach bag. Oh God, repacking this is gonna be so fun. All right, regular Toms. These are my walking shoes, Toms, Tom, Toms. All of my hanging clothes on hangers because when I get there, like I said, I like to fully unpack. So I'm gonna reach into here, bada bing, bada boom, hang them in the closet and I'm good to go. But I wanna show you a couple of these cute things because Hello, I'm going to the DR, so I need all of the flamenco looking sleeves. So I've got this flamenco sleeves in black. And then, oh God, it's already getting wrinkly. I hope that we get the upgrade. I did put in a request for an upgrade so that we could have a room with our own butler. Cause hello, I'm going to need some ironing done. <laughs> but anyway, again, more with the flamenco sleeves. And then this, let me show you this necklace. This super cute tassel necklace that I just think pairs so well with the top and I just love the green color. Hello, this was made for the Dominican, my safari shirt. It's actually like a see-through, can you see me? I'm behind here, it's a see-through mesh. I have a crop top um, hung underneath it just so that I've got something for underneath, but I just think it's so islandy. This is a free people top that I am obsessed with. And um, I made Alyssa order one in a complimentary color, so we will be next level twinning in these bad boys for one of our dinner nights. And then, oh my god, I have so much. Um, meh, I don't need to show you everything. Now things are falling on the ground. That's awesome. I picked up this uh, romper one piece situation. It's pants. It's so cute. It's so flattering on. I'm so excited to wear this with my coral wedges and that blue necklace that I showed you a little minute ago. A little minute ago. Okay. Anyway. Whew. Now I'm getting hot. Okay. All right. So the rest of this entire suitcase is all of my accoutrements. All of the various things that I probably don't actually need, but I'm going to pack anyway. Our clip-on refills for our insect repellent. I could probably skip the foot pedals since we're gonna mostly be in flip-flops. Progress is being made. We're getting to some fun stuff. Of course, I have my UE Boom speaker. Let me just show it to you. This is the case I got off Amazon. Voila! It's my waterproof speaker where we are going to blast add some tunes at the pool. And then anybody else that comes, if you're watching, bring your UE Boom speaker because you can link up multiples of these together and we can really blast the speakers. We only got kicked out of the pool area in Costa Rica one time for having our music too loud. And by kicked out, I mean, we were asked to reduce the sound of our music and we were like, whatever, we're out of here. <laughs> Hello clips. I just love these freaking flamingos. Oh look, they can even be glasses! All of the sunblock for
for my white skin. 50 SPF. I usually use 60 or 75. Whatever, 50 is good. These are brand new, just got them at Costco. I need to start doing Costco hauls. You guys, okay, so most people have an issue when they go to Target, like things just fall into their cart. I'm pretty good at Target. However, Costco, oof, I don't really ever make it out of Costco without spending about $400. Hello? I don't have a family. There's no reason to ever spend $400 at Costco. The last time I went there, I walked out with a new Dyson, two new step ladders, like ran the most random stuff. Anyway, the sunblock was a good deal though. If you watched my last video upload, you know I love dry shampoo. So I'm bringing it. All of the vitamins, gotta stay healthy. A hair towel, because you know you're not supposed to use regular towels on your hair. It makes them frizzy. So this is a super absorbent microfiber hair towel because I'm gonna definitely wash my hair once or twice while I'm there. <laughs> Towel clips for Alyssa. Don't break, because we each need our own set, because we're 12. Oh my God, so on our last trip, we actually left these. I could not believe we forgot our towel clips. We left them on the chairs and then we went back down the next day. We didn't realize we had forgotten them and we're walking by and we see them on their chairs. And we're like, oh my God, look, those people have the same clips. And we're like, oh my God, where are our clips? And we realized they were ours. So we just casually walked over and plucked them off the chairs while people were sitting there. I mean, whatever, it was ours. Collagen water because we've got to stay beautiful. And of course, we've got to shake it up in a shaker cup. Okay, somebody send help. I'm overpacking. Just in cases. We need all of the emergency. You just never know. My insulated Jessica Posh cup. Whenever I travel, I like to bring a little travel candle just because it makes me feel like home to have a nice little candle burning in my room. Only when I'm in the room, I don't leave it burning when I leave. I've got my brand new coconut oil bagged for travel. I live for coconut oil, especially on vacation. I apply it to myself before I even get out of the shower and it's what I use to take my makeup off. I mean, I just use it for everything. This is another fun little bag of tricks. So in here, I've got all of my uh, barefoot sandals. So these are fun little, let me show you one. You probably don't wanna see my feet, so I will just tell you about it. Come out. So the little, the little ring right here hooks on your toe and this big one goes around your ankle. And so then it's got like, it's little top of your feet jewelry for the beach. It's so cute. So I've got a bunch of pairs of those. I got them all on eBay for like $5, $10 each, whatever. Cheaper than shoes. Gonna need a lint roller. Ooh, here's a little life hack. So if you, oh, your lint roller will also pick up your bobby pins. If you've got a lint roller, it's got a little hook on the bottom, tie a little piece of ribbon and then hang it on a door knob. Door knob, yes. Hang it on your door knob and you're always gonna know where your lip roller is. More dry shampoo because, hello, that's how I live my life. Totally unnecessary, but I'm packing my curlers because I just love my curl formers and I love when my hair's curly and I'm probably only actually gonna use them one time and they're taking up a lot of space, but I don't even care. And I told you that I also had a blue pool noodle. Here it is. So I've got the pool noodles lining like the outside of each of my suitcases and I'm just super excited. Super excited to float around on them. Hello, is that it? Okay, I did not show you a giant pile of Posh products because that is Alyssa's assignment. I am packing many of the accoutrements to be including all of the necklaces, the pool noodles, the pool bag, all of the um, pajamas. I'm basically packing a lot of stuff for us, so she's responsible for all of the Posh products. But I did bring my egg on your face bundle because I love it. Oh, I'm exhausted. This video is gonna end up being like 45 minutes. If you have made it to the end of this video, please be sure you do give it a thumbs up because you clearly like it. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. I'm super duper excited. Today is Wednesday. Hopefully I'm gonna get this published by Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thursday. I am flying off to Las Vegas to meet up with my Lissy. Um, for those of you that don't know, Alyssa Brown, she also has a YouTube channel. She's also a posher. I met her through Posh. 
We were roommates together on um, the Italy incentive trip. We didn't know each other very well at all before that trip and people think we were literally best friends before we even went on that trip. We just bonded like whoa, became best friends and that's just how it goes. Like Posh is just amazing. I have met my best friends ever in life through Posh, like seriously. <sighs> it gets so emotional. But I will not because I'm going on vacation. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to stay tuned because I'm going to do my best to grab lots of video while we're on vacation. Posh trips can get a little crazy, but they're always such a good time. I'm super duper excited. I can't wait. I'm going to try to vlog it. I probably won't though, if I'm just being honest with myself. This is totally random, but if you have any questions about Perfectly Posh or how you could potentially earn the next incentive trip, feel free to send me a message. You can reach me on Facebook. You can reach me on Twitter. You can reach me on Instagram. My email is down below. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for taking this time to watch my packing video. It was a mess, but thanks for making it through it. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.